Ladies and gentlemen, please join in welcoming tonight's Master of Ceremonies, former Philadelphia Eagle and NBC Philadelphia's very own Vi Sukahima. Thank you for that uh, introduction. Welcome, everyone. Hope you guys are uh, excited for a great evening. We have a great program in store for you. We uh, warmly welcome you to the 14th annual Angels in Adoption Gala. What a great sight you are this evening. I also want to uh, acknowledge the uh, Congressional Coalition on Adoption Institute for having me here tonight. I appreciate the, uh, the opportunity to uh, MC this, this program. Always good to come to D.C., love coming to the nation's capital, home of the most dynamic, most popular, most powerful African-American leader in the free world. Robert Griffin III. What a Sunday he had last week. Has anybody gotten his endorsement? Somebody better get on that. Kid is a star. All right, let's get right to the program because we're, gonna, we're running a little bit behind. At this time, I would like to introduce the chaplain of the United States Senate, Dr. Barry Clayton Black, a man who has also dedica dedicated his life to others through counseling and spiritual care. Dr. Black served in the U.S. Navy for over 27 years and is the recipient of many outstanding achievements for his constitution to equal opportunity and civil rights. So please welcome to the stage Dr. Barry Clayton Black. Let us pray. O oh, transcendent, Almighty God, what words can sing your praises? No tongue can describe you. No mind can probe your mystery. Yet all speech springs from you, and all thoughts stem from you. Thank you for the Congressional Coalition on Adoption Institute and for people who believe that children are our future. Thank you, Lord, for those who know that if you are to enter the transcendent kingdom, you must become like a child. We are grateful for angels in adoption, for those who will be allies with you in lifting children in need into caring homes. Lord, we remember that we receive our salvation because you have adopted us. We call you our Heavenly Father because you modeled what CCAI seeks to do in bringing comfort and a future to those who need your care. May we never forget, O oh God, that we give little when we give of our possessions, it is only when we give of ourselves that we truly give. Thank you for those who are willing to give of themselves for children. Bless this evening our food and our fellowship. We pray in the name of him who said, let the children come to me and forbid them not, for of such 
is the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Thank you, Doctor. Our leadoff hitter tonight is Jack Gerard, a man who has not only been recognized as one of Washington's most influential leaders, but whose character embodies everything that Angels in Adoption organization represents. Jack and his wife Claudette are the proud parents of eight children, including twin boys adopted from Guatemala. Well, Jack told me that raising uh, eight children doesn't keep him busy enough, though. That's why he fills his free time as president and CEO of the American Petroleum Institute, while also serving as the chairman of the Congressional Coalition on Adoption Institute's executive board. On a personal note, Jack is a Latter-day Saint who also serves his church as a lay minister. And that's what I'm, that's, uh, boy, that is multitasking. We are honored that this wonderful father, fearless leader, an all-around stand-up individual is here to speak to us tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Mr. Jack Gerard, my friend. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for being here this evening. Isn't it great having a Philadelphia Eagle on Washington Redskin territory? So let's give Vi a round of applause for being a great MC. As I mentioned, I have the privilege to chair the executive board of the Congressional Coalition on Adoption Institute. And what a humbling privilege that has been for the past few years. Just a few years ago, Claudette and I had the privilege to go as part of our Vision 2020 program to Ethiopia. And there we met with the president, we met with many others to see the challenges on the part of governments on a global basis and what they face as they seek to address the needs and concerns of their children. Last Easter, we had another great opportunity to be in Guatemala. And there we did similar work, meeting with the president, the senior leadership of that government, to help them and assist them as they put together programs to address those in greatest need. More specifically, as the good reverend mentioned in his prayer, the little ones, those who need the most help. This past summer, we also had the chance to host 15 of our foster youth interns who you'll hear much about a little later in our program. All this combined has not only convinced us, but has reaffirmed to our souls the great privilege and an opportunity is to work with an organization like CCAI who toil day in and day out to help us achieve our mission of a loving family for every child. That's not an insurmountable task, but it literally begins one by one as everyone does their part. And tonight we're going to honor many who have stepped forward who not only do their part, but have gone well beyond what many of us do to bless the lives of those little ones, those that perhaps are less fortunate in our society. Now none of this could be possible without the great help of our sponsors. So tonight in closing I'd like to take one moment just to thank all those who have been generous with your commitments, with your contributions to help us fund and to make sure that CCAI is an ongoing enti entity that will continue to assist not only here in our nation but on a global basis as we seek to assist those little ones. So first I'd like to acknowledge our platinum partners, the Annie E. Casey Foundation. I'd like you to stand, those who are here representing these organizations. Hold your applause till the end. The Freddie Mac Foundation, the Dave Thomas Foundation for Adoption, the American Petroleum Institute, of which I'm privileged to be part, and Comstock Building, where one of our board members, Tracy Shaw, represents. Let's give our platinum sponsors a round of applause. And next, our gold sponsors, Ken and Barbara Strotman, Floor Corporation, Exxon Mobil, Chevron, Elmer and Sandra Doty. Elmer is also a member of our board. Casey Family Programs, 
and the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. Let's give them a round of applause. And lastly, I would encourage you to turn to page three in your program because there are many others who have been generous with their time and with their resource to make this uh, night possible. Again, thank you all. Congratulations to our angels. All of you are angels in one way or another. And please enjoy the program. Thank you very much. I think it's back to you, Bob. Thanks, Jack. Thank you, Jack. Our next uh, presenter, uh, this is going to be a little bit different, uh, folks. Instead of speaking to you, our next presenter is actually going to sing to you. Uh, don't worry, it's not me. Uh, we are honored that Mr. Stephen Curtis Chapman is here with us tonight. He is, of course, some fans out there of Stevens. He's, of course, a very successful recording artist who uses his remarkable voice to be, to be more than just a legendary musician but also one of the greatest vocal advocates of adoption. Stephen and his wife, Mary Beth, are the founders of Show Hope, a nonprofit organization that has uh, assisted over 3,200 families with financial grants for adoption. Stephen and his wife, Mary Beth, received the Angels in Adoption Award way back in 2001, so this guy is no stranger to this stage. And the stage is a place where Mr. Chapman certainly shines. He's a five-time Grammy Award winner who's also sold more than 10 million records, including his platinum albums Speechless and Heaven in the Real World. Mr. Chapman also has been honored with 57 Dove Awards, Christian Music's highest honor. And he has achieved more number one hits on Christian radio than any other artist in history. It is my singular honor, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen to introduce to you Stephen Curtis Chapman. Thank you so much. How's everyone? Good? Good to see you. This is a song inspired by my, my two youngest uh, daughters, both uh, adopted from China, Stevie Joy and Maria Sue, and they are about three years old. And um, so this is a special song for me called Cinderella. She spins and she sways to whatever song plays without a care in the world. And I'm sitting here wearing the weight of the world on my, my shoulder. It's been a long day and there's still work to do. She's pulling at me, saying, Dad, I need you. There's a ball at the castle that I've been invited. And I need to practice my dancing. Oh, please, Dad. So I dance with Cinderella while she's here in my arms. Cause I know something the prince never knew. She wants to know if I approve of the dress. She says, Dad, the prom is just one week away. And I need to practice my dancing. Oh, please, Daddy, please. So I will dance with Cinderella while she's here in my arms. Cause I Something the prince never knew. Oh, 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 I dance with Cinderella. I don't want to miss even one 
was all too soon. The clock will strike midnight, and she'll be gone. Well, she came on the day. With a ring on her hand, just blowing and telling us all they had planned. She says that her wedding is six months away, and I need to practice my dancing. Oh, please, Daddy, please. So I will dance with the tender. I know something the friends never knew. Oh, 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 oh. I dance with Cinderella. I don't want to miss even one song. Because all too soon the clock will strike. Dance will go on. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, we are, uh, we, my wife, Mary Beth, and I, this is my wife over here, wave, hey, everybody, there's my lovely bride of 28 years. We are the parents of six children, um, which just means we're pretty much confused most of the time about what's going on, um, and the grandparents of one amazing uh, granddaughter that just came along a few months ago, so we're very excited. We're honored to be with you. Uh, you are some of our favorite people uh, in the world to be hanging out with and dining with and, and uh, visiting with because of what you believe and what you do, more than what you believe, what you've done with that belief and with your life. You wouldn't be sitting in this room if you haven't made a difference in the world by making a difference, uh, all the difference in the world in the lives of children. And uh, we met some of you. We're so honored. We were honored to be here, yes, 11 years ago. Uh, although we never made it to this room or to this event because the world was changed on September 11th. That's when this uh, event was supposed to happen 11 years ago. And um, a lot has changed in this world for sure. But we're so thankful that some things uh, like this haven't changed. We just we, we see it just growing more and more and more the passion to help children that need families. And we're honored to be a little part of that. I've written a lot of songs uh, inspired by that. And um the very first one, though, was after we adopted uh, our first of our three daughters um, from China, Shohanna. And uh, I, um, I want to sing that song on the piano and show a video that she is the star of the video. Actually, she's at the time she was three. She's 13 now, so it's a few years ago. In fact, I made the video for this event 11 years ago and never got to show it because of what happened. So uh, tonight I get to share it with you. Um, and it also uh, has some clips of our family on our first of many experiences of this miracle of adoption. So uh, glad we get to share it with you, and thanks for letting us share this evening with you. I'm going to go back here. Hold on. Thank you. But this song celebrates the miracle that we celebrate here tonight, um, the fact that when love takes you in, everything changes. <laughs> the story but they all sound too good to be true you heard about a place called home but that 
doesn't seem to be one for you. So one more night, you cry yourself to sleep and drift off to a distant dream where love takes you in. starts with a beat of a heart when love takes you home it says you belong here loneliness ends and a new life begins and this love you in everything changes a miracle starts with a beat of a heart when love takes you home and says you Takes you in. It takes you in for good. When love takes you in, it will never let you go. Thanks so much. God bless you. Thank you all. Stephen Curtis Chapman, ladies and gentlemen. I did not anticipate standing in the back there. The images I was shown Two weeks ago, my wife and I just dropped off our youngest of our four children and our only daughter to college. So <clears throat> uh, I apologize if I've got a frog in my throat. But uh, this comes at a perfect time because we're going to let you folks enjoy dinner for a little bit here. Uh, enjoy the slideshow and uh, sit back and relax. I'll be back in a few minutes after dinner and just before dessert. Thank you. <laughs>